We're back here again in Portland, Oregon for the United States Figure Skating Championships. And there is the United States and World Ladies Champion, 17-year-old Linda Fratiani. And Dick Button, she looks very alert, as do her contenders warming up here for the final performance. Well, you know, she has to be alert, even though she is a world champion, and even though she's leading at the end of the first two parts of this competition, this is not wrapped up. Anything can happen in figure skating. We've seen it so many times where disasters occur at the last minute where unexplained things can happen even the lights go off as happened last year in Hartford so Linda's not got this um, wrapped up yet until she finishes that actual performance and remember also that there are three places left open on the world team and that means that there are a lot of other girls vying for that very coveted spot but you know it's particularly nice to see Linda Fratiani here because she's a charming and lovely young girl and a dedicated worker and we had a great time just a short period of back going to visit she and her family in California. I started skating when I was nine and I went with one of my neighbors to a rink and I really enjoyed it. And then I went home and I played with my mom to take me back and she said no, no, it was too expensive. And then for Christmas she surprised me with a pair of skates. From then on I just really loved it. I enrolled her in a class for beginners, and she was in the class one time, and they said, oh, she's too good, she should go into the intermediate class. And she was in that class one time, and they said, oh, she's too good, she should go to the advanced class. And by that time, we kind of thought that maybe we should do something that was really right for her, and so we did get her private instruction. All my children have their own thing going, and we have fun when, when she's gone. We do our own thing at home but uh, they have no resentment or jealousy towards Linda. In fact, they're very, very proud of her. Well, I think her skating has brought a great deal of excitement to the family, and I think it's brought us closer together, actually. Linda has shown a lot of dedication since she really started skating, and uh, I've told her many a time that if I had her talent, her dedication, and her ability, and I, I would probably be a Supreme Court justice today. Well, I think she has incredible durability for the free skating and for work. She never seems to tire. It's almost like she's hyperactive. Of course, when someone's at the top, it's very hard to motivate them to accomplish more. But I think that we can bring out a musical thing that is not quite there yet, and that I think she will mature as a skater and be more interpretive as the years go by. Well, I'm working toward the 1980 Olympics, and I'm going to try to keep up my skating up until then. I think it's going to be very hard pushing myself to 1980, but I'm going to try. Her mind is set on that goal. Whether or not she'll be able to retain the world championship till then uh, is hard to say. Linda won the world championship after skating only seven years. It probably takes most world champions twice that amount of time to win a world championship but uh, she progressed so fast as a youngster and and went through all the united states figure skating associations tests in three years which is the shortest time i've ever known of anyone to accomplish a gold medal it's just amazing to me that she could accomplish so much in such a short length of time stay ladies lift it linda stay. uses the study of dance as a means of increasing the strength and suppleness of her body that's the girl and face and open Hopefully, hopefully this will encourage her musical interpretation and give her the means to develop a unique style, which she will need if she is going to become a great skater as well as a great champion. Linda is close with her brothers and sisters. Her notoriety has not gone to her head nor changed the down-to-earth modesty of the family. It was a pleasure to hear their views on how her skating career could develop. I think after the Olympics, skating will become a career for me. To tell you the truth, I don't really think about $1,000 in contracts right now because it just right, you know, isn't here right now. But if it ever comes, you know, it will come. I feel the same way as Linda feels, that she has a job to do right now, and that's competition. And as far as anything else goes, we're really not terribly interested. When I'm competing, I just try to do my best, not really worry about what anybody else is doing or is trying to beat anybody else. I just try to do what I can do and do the, the thing I do best. And here she is, Linda Fratiani, 17 years old, going for her second United States Championship to go along with her World's One in Tokyo. Using the music.
music of Scheherazade. There's two opening moves that are extremely important to the tempo and setting of her program. The first, a triple salkow. Remember, she doesn't have to do this, but she has chosen to do this very difficult move. Three revolutions. She elected only to do a double. Perfectly free to do that. Now another triple. This time a toe loop. Beauty, that was a beauty. And the Frattiani extremely capable in these very difficult triple jumps, double jumps. Very tight skater with a great deal of energy. This combination of split, back split. Stepping into a double axle. Flying sit spin. young lady than she was last year. A great deal of maturity has come into her skating. She's taking a greater deal, a greater amount of time to present her moves. She's following through on them musically. She's developing, I think, very nicely. And certainly the road to 1980 looks good at this point. And Linda, only 17 years old, 5'1", all of 96 pounds, one of five children from Northridge, California. for Linda. I'm, I will say that I don't think it was the peak, but good. The slow motion of her as she steps up on this left outside edge into the double axle. Two and a half revolutions, landing, and the hand goes down. A little bit out of control there. 5.7 for eight. Linda Fratiani for five technical merit. 5.7, 5.7. Five, five, eight, five, five, six, six, five, six, five, five eight, eight, and five, seven. Do you think five, those would have been a little seven. higher had you done that first triple jump? I think so. I just swung around it too much. Four, what happened on the other double jump where you put your hand down? Um, 
my feet flew out to the side and I dropped the shoulder. Five were you, were you feeling up tonight? Um, I don't know. It's Five been hard for me to get seven. to my program at these Five rinks, and I don't feel I'm in 100% good shape seven. for this championship. Five Here's six. your second set of marks. Five, Five seven, five, eight. seven, five, eight, five, Five, seven, five, five eight. six, and five, eight. I think it's better that you have a mistake if you have one here rather than at the world. <laughs> yes, it is. Good luck.